Hey everybody, I'm Greg. I'm Katie. Welcome to the November edition of the of our road trip acquisitions. We had not planned on doing one for November, as I had stated at the end of October. However, we had a few things come up and we ended up with a few more games than we should have. So we're going to go ahead and do one. But before we get started, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter at SIA Meeple. That's all one word. Or join us on our Facebook group, The Meeple Society. Help us out by subscribing uh, to our channel. Click on the bell icon if you want notification of future content as it becomes available. And uh, if that's not all enough, then join us for our podcast. We do with Mark and Jess once a month. You can find that anywhere you listen to podcasts. Now, let's get started with some new games entering our collection. Yeah, well, Shelby explained that we didn't go to... We did not do a road, road trip, trip this though. time. Yeah, we did not. We don't have another road trip planned until probably February, March time frame. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically, we had to get in a car and drive to these game stores. We did. But, you know... They were they, local. They were all... Actually, one's not even in the county that we live in. That's true. We did have to cross county lines to get there. Mm -hmm. but the other one's only three miles up the road and that's where most of these came from technicalities we'll explain as we go so the first one i'm we're gonna go ahead and knock this one out first this one is one that is entering it's not even going to enter our collection we already have this game but we picked up an extra copy of subdivision um miniature market is having a really good sale right now actually and we had at the point of this video at the point of this video <laughs> it's lasting till the end of the month November, but um, we had uh, purchased some other stuff for another game, and we'll explain it when we get to that point, but this one, we needed another uh, 10 or $15 for, or I think we were just under $10 needed for free shipping, mm -hmm. so and we picked this up, bucks. it was 10 bucks. We really enjoy this game. We have this in our collection, but we're going to put this one into the traveling collection. I think it's a great... Uh, intro game on city building and tile lane and, tile lane and that there's there's a lot of interesting choices to make in this one um but yeah so we're going to put this into the travel collection and hopefully get some people teach some teenagers how to play it at our next event yep so that is subdivision the market. our next couple are going to be kickstarters that finally came in finally finally came in the first one, if you've listened to our podcast, we actually featured this one on, I think it was episode 4.5. Yes. It was just you and we Mark. We interviewed the designer yep. of the game. We interviewed Dan Grubb, the designer. Well, I shouldn't say we, you guys. Me and Mark did. Interviewed the designer, Dan Grubb, of the game. And we advertised it for him. And I'd like to think we helped him get it back. To, I, I don't know, maybe. Mm. But we did our part. We did our part, right. We did, did what we could. Um, this is a, uh, hi, <laughs> this is a basic dungeon crawl game. Um, it is a, we actually just finished up a video on it. By the time that this video is published, you'll, it should already be up on the channel. This did not come with the cat. It did not come with the cat. Although he would be a nice little creature in there. So. That is Gorgon's Lock. Uh, fundraiser finally delivered this past month. So uh, we were able to get a few plays of this in. Thank you for sitting down finally. Apparently Jarvis likes Gorgon's Lock. I guess so. You like the monsters in it? Mm -hmm. Lots of skeletons and orcs. It was orcs, goblins. goblins. Skeletons and goblins is what we faced in the video. So, so check out the video. Um, You're just going to lay there, aren't you? Yep, he sure is. And I'm comfortable now. He just blends right into the table. All right, so... And that is Gorgon's Lock. The next Kickstarter. The next Kickstarter we got, and I actually late, I think we late back this one. Mm -hmm. We didn't actually catch it in time. Yes, I think so. Is Cartographers. We, this one came in too. I'm trying to make it so the lights, you can see the name. That's the Collector's Edition. Yeah, we got the Collector's Edition of Cartographers. And this one. Jarvis, you're in the way. Yeah, I know. Here. <laughs> cartographers with it we also back or we i don't know if this came separate or if it was one of the i don't remember i That's, wouldn't be a bit surprised if we paid extra for it because we always do the play mat. but we got the play mat as well so, we can do play mat. so and i'm a big especially with card games i like having that board that defines the play area 
Mm -hmm. So I, I'm with card games. If they make player mats, I usually will get them. This guy is very loud. So let me roll him back up real quick. I just wants to play with it. Um, so cartographers is a flip and right. <laughs> cartographers is a flip and right uh, in the roll and write genre of games. Uh, you are flipping over cards that show polyomino shapes plus terrain types. And you are having to decide where you want to put that that polyomino shape of ter the terrain type on your board, on your, your sheet. Um, very similar to a lot of flip and rights that are out there now in terms of that uh, type of play. However, this one adds a little bit of difference into it that there are monsters in the deck. Mm -hmm. And the monsters, when you pull, when the monster card comes up, now you have to pass your entire board to the player next to you, and they get to add the monster to your sheet. Wherever they want to put yes. them. So if you're trying, and of course, there are always, as with any flip and ride or roll and write, there are <coughs> goals out there that you have to meet for the points mm -hmm. um, each round. And if they can see you're very close to meeting one of those goals, they can put a monster in your way and block you. So it's a very, I, I like this one. It's very interesting. Um, the first couple of times we played it, we always, with the regular game, we always brought out the colored pencils with it. And that added a lot to it. This time they actually got smart and added color pencils into it. Yes. So it's uh, it's an interesting flip and write. Um, and they actually added several more mini expansions to this one too, where there's several different sets of maps and different sets of rules for each map. So I'm anxious mm -hmm. to play through some of those. Yep. I just noticed it has a blue sticker on it. Yes, that means we haven't played it yet. <laughs> yes, so if you see games come up that doesn't have a blue sticker on it, you know, hey, they haven't got that played yet. That does have a blue sticker. Right. Yeah. Okay. What um, I say? That doesn't have. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the next one, um, this is one I've wanted for a while, but because of the, the price, I've just kind of Bonked not it. not yeah i've kind of balked at it we haven't gotten it that and it's a big game so we weren't mm -hmm. sure how often it would come to the table for the price for the price point however at work we've been working so much overtime lately and really just to compensate for the the half staff uh rotating schedule we're doing right now due to the pandemic that the company basically gave everybody a hundred dollar allowance to go out and do whatever we wanted to with we mm -hmm. could go out to dinner with our family and then expense it we could put it toward a purchase of something we really wanted we could put it toward a car rental and go on a trip whatever we wanted to do with that hundred dollars and they would just expense it out and pay us back for it well naturally <laughs> we visited the game store mm -hmm. so i finally bit the bullet and knowing that it would only cost me well, I would save $100 on it. We finally bought, bit the bullet and bought Kanban. As you can see, we've not played it yet. There's a blue sticker. But we'll get it to the table. It's been a busy month. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to get this guy to the table. Yes. But this one is one of uh, the, 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 yeah, the, 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 the tall Eagle Griffin games. Yes. We, and we already have On Mars and Lisboa, and we really enjoy both of them. Mm -hmm. So this guy's already got a home on the shelf right next to those two. So I'm anxious to get this one, but, but yeah, I mean, how could you pass it up when the company is going to give me a hundred dollars back of it? Um, now I just have to take a picture of it with, you know, to show what I bought and everybody, everybody works going to know. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what she would get with her hundred bucks. So that is Kanban yes. EV. All right. I'm going to put this on the bottom of the stack because I don't want to put it on top. So the next grouping is we oh, did boy. a, yeah. The game store nearest does a yard sale like every six months, three months. Uh, about every three or four months. They do three. But they they haven't had it for yeah. a year or so because of COVID. Oh, COVID. And they this just is... started to go back to doing yep. this. We took up about 50 games, made a bunch of money out of it by selling some of our games. The key to this one is, <clears throat> and I like the way they do this. Uh, they open it up to all their customers. Mm -hmm. uh, they put it on their Facebook group. So a lot of people come in for it. And it was pretty packed. There was 25 sellers. I think there were 25 people up there selling games. Uh, mm -hmm. anywhere from a few games to like I said we had 50 I know a few people brought in more than that but everything you sell goes towards store credit so it is a win-win for the store the store 
because one, it's bringing people into the store that might not have otherwise come in. Mm -hmm. um, and then all of the people who came in to sell are going to buy are, stuff from the store. Right. They're, <laughs> they, you've just given them a huge credit to buy stuff in your store. So you're keeping, <clears throat> they're keeping the money no matter what. So, and it works for us, especially a lot of these games. I mean, I've tried selling some of these, mm -hmm. the games we put up there are a lot of the ones from the other collection, from the traveling collection that we are trying to pare down anyway. Uh, we have almost 1500 games in that collection and that we're never taking that many anywhere. A lot of them are kids games that I'm not even sure why I bought, but I did. They were cheap and you found them at Goodwill. Uh, exactly. Or was donated. Or they were donated to us or whatever. But when we first started that collection, it had a home because we were doing game nights at the high school mm -hmm. every couple months. And we were gearing it toward younger children. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't need 200 games geared toward four-year-olds when now we're, we're, we're more focusing on the high school events where, yes, we'll have some small children, siblings and such. But anyway. I don't need that many. So anyway, so we're pairing that Off game. subject. You're very you know, squirrel. Um, so anyway, so we're pairing that collection down. Yeah. We sold a bunch of games. This next set is the ones that we picked up while we were there. That people were selling. That other people were selling. <laughs> so we had to pick them up. Yeah. So there were games we were kind of interested. We yeah. heard about some. There was a couple games in here that we'd never even heard of. No, I had never either heard of or that... Or we'd heard they were something about so, it and we didn't want to. Right. I didn't want to pay full price for them, but, you know, five bucks for the game. Sure. I'll give it a shot for mm -hmm. five bucks. Why not? All right. So we'll just start at the top of this stack here. And I'll so, let you explain this one because you. This first one game favorites. is the game. Yeah. This is a Pandasaurus <laughs> release. And it plays what? One to five players, 20 minute game. This is great. You're, you're, you've got four cards laid out. Two of them have a one with arrows going up and two of them have a hundred with arrows going down basically you're placing cards in front of them in order so the ones you're ascending up correct is that correct or is that the descending? ones you're going you're ascending ascending you're, and you're putting them the in ascending order descending. yep and you're putting them in order uh because like you can put up it starts with one you put out a five the next person has to at least put a six or higher mm -hmm. say like you just on the other side you put out in the 100 side, you put a 65 because it was your next card that you could go. Somebody else has a, uh, a 75 in their hand. They can now put it on it because it's exactly 10. Yeah, that's the only way to make the numbers yeah. reverse. So it's is 10 less than what was, exactly or 10 more 10 than what off. was on there on that yeah. side. So it could go back up and you can raise it up and down. Yeah. The goal of the game is to play all your cards. Well, and that's just it. You start with seven cards in your hand, mm -hmm. but there's a giant Six. deck is it six? I thought it was seven. I don't know. But anyway, you start with a set number of cards in your hand and there's a giant deck there. So you can play as you have to play at least two. That's the hard part is you have to play at least two. Mm -hmm. And then you can play more if you have a bunch really close together and you can get them out of your hand and then you just draw back up to that set number. Whether yes. it was six or seven. So it's either six remember. or seven. We don't know. We've only played it a few times. Yeah. So um no, oh, we just got it two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Now it's bugging me. <laughs> so the goal is to get through that whole stack and everybody to play out what's in their hands i think we got to the point we had four we each had a full hand left when she's right we could not buy two player game with seven okay four play four player game or up or three or up is six is six. okay so i don't know it, it was a fun game it mm -hmm. was uh it was very interesting it was very it was funny because when we first got it, you were watching one of the videos on it. I remember the guy on the video saying, there are going to be times you want to play this game. You want, you have to put down cards and you may not want to. It's going to be painful to put them down. Yes. Oh yeah. It is painful to put down a card that is 30 numbers off, but that's all you have. You mm -hmm. have to put down yeah, two cards. Yeah. Because the minute so you can't put down a card, you lose. Yeah. And the game's over. Yep. So you have to put something down. So, yeah. so, so once the game is over, you count how many cards you have. If yeah. you have 10 or less, you what they say you played the best game you could or something, yeah, like, something that. like that it's kind of a win we ended up with the one game we've done so far we ended up with 14 yeah we lost but if you put but them yeah. all down you you beat the game yeah but exactly. yeah so it's it's really good we bought it for what five bucks yeah it was five bucks. so it, it's definitely worth the five bucks it's probably worth full price too so yeah it's i was an interesting if you game. need a light card game to start your game night off yeah great game to do yep i agree all yeah. right Next, Next is 
Oh, hey, we can take this wood sticker off. We played this the other night. You seen it here. <laughs> All right, next one is diamonds. We actually got to play this one at Gen Con the year it first the came out. First came out yep. And I remember liking it, but for some reason we never picked it up. Mm -hmm. um, so when we saw it uh, at the yard sale, we went ahead and grabbed it again. Anyway, it's just a little trick taking game. Uh, Where you're getting diamonds. Yeah, you're getting diamonds and it just has the little crystals in it for your diamonds. You have safes that you can, depending on what card you play, what you suit can. You, yeah, what suit you won depends on whether it goes behind in your, your screen, safe, yeah. in front of your safe, or yeah. you can take one from another player that's everybody, in front of their safe. Everybody starts with little safes. Anything mm -hmm. behind your, in your safe is perfectly safe and nobody mm -hmm. can take it from you. Anything outside your safe, you have to try to get in your safe. So because other and, people could take it depending on because I think it's the clubs. If you want a club, you get a you get like to that, take yeah. it from somebody else and put it in front of yours. Yeah, but there it's an interesting it's an interesting game. The cards are really pretty. I like the cards. So but anyway, and yeah, this it's a good this, little game. This, they already sleeved it. Yeah. So they sold this game already sleeved. Yeah, it was nice. It was a good find. So, so I'm very happy with this find. And like I said, we did enjoy it. I am anxious to play it more with more players. Two players, it was okay. I lost miserably. But I do remember really liking this when we played it at Gen Con. Mm -hmm. So I'm anxious to play it with more players. Yes. Yeah, so that's diamonds. Definitely going into the collection. Definitely. Another like game. Yes. Yes. Next. Okay. The next set. I say set because we. This is one we're late to the party on this because oh, I know yeah. it's already ended. Yeah, this game they're no longer backing this game, but that's okay. And these boxes are empty. They are they are empty. We have since this is part of what we picked up at Miniature Market and why we needed the extra ten bucks with subdivision. But we picked up the two player version of Star Wars Destiny, and the guy that was selling it was also selling two of the additional starter packs. So we picked up those two. We've played this one so far. We have not gotten to play any of the starter packs, but we picked up some storage components. I hate these kind of boxes. I absolutely detest these kinds of boxes. So we picked up some, a different way of storing these where I can get everything into one thing. Yes, Miniature Market. Uh, they're Fantasy Flight products. Yeah, they're Miniature Fantasy Market has yeah. the whole the box, the, the, the boxes that can hold your dice. That yeah. hold all the dice and the cards. So we picked those up. Um, I just don't like the fact they don't give you a way to store the chits. So the chits will probably end up in this box. But we'll get rid of this chair. Right now, all the dice don't fit in. So we can always put them in small bags and they might fit in there. We'll see. We'll see. So anyway, um, so far I like it. I like playing it. We, it was a close game. Yeah. I think I literally won by like two health points um, when we played. Yeah. And this one is, this one was Ray and Kylo Ren yeah. were the two characters in this one um it, yeah. it's definitely if you're forward. having bad dice rolls <laughs> you're gonna have a bad game so, but as many bad dice rolls i had like i said it was still a close game it was so. a very close game despite the bad dice rolls yeah mm -hmm. so anyway that is star wars destiny mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to playing some more of the other ones with those okay next next another game we've played of it since we got yes, it we got to probably play this one a couple days ago this is ex libris mm -hmm. Um, okay, so Ex Libris, a library. Yeah, you're building a library of books. Mm -hmm. And you start um, at the beginning of the game, there is a specific book that gives everybody extra points. There is a specific book that takes it's, away a, a genre of books. I'm a sorry, not a specific book. book, a genre of books that takes away it's banned, points. Basically. It's banned. Yeah, so you lose points if that you have those types of books in your yeah, library. It's called banned books and prominent works there you go and then everybody has a secret goal where if they have those that type of book in their library they get extra points too so you're basically you're trying to just build points with this one mm -hmm. the interesting part of this one is that all of the cards have are in alphabetical order they all have um alphabetic letters on them they all have numeric numbers on them and when you play cards into your library shelves when you shelve your books you have to put everything if they have to be in order or you lose points so just like any library well, that card gets flipped over you can, so you, yeah, you, you have a point. choice of flipping it at the end of the game mm -hmm. but regardless you don't get points off that card if it's not in numeric order mm -hmm. or not numeric alphabetic order 
So it was so, a fun yeah. game. So I is, really enjoyed worker, it. Basically a worker placement. It is a worker placement. Tableau yes. building game. Yes. Uh, I like the fact where the, the, the new stalls come out. And then at the end of the round, whatever oh, stall is the lower number of that is becomes a permanent place where you can go for the rest yes. of the game. So your worker placement options build every round. Yeah. So depending on how many players is, is how many stalls come out. Right. And then at the end of the round, one of those stalls is going to be permanent. And then more stalls come out that right. you can start placing on. Yep. So yeah, that really was cool. a good one. I like this one. Okay. All this right. is one we have not got we played not yet. We've seen a lot about it, but we did yeah. not want to pay full price for it. I've seen it in a couple places. This is when we saw it Ollie's, and we thought about it several times. Did we, we see just, it in Yeah, this was in one of, uh, we saw it one of the places in Ollie's last month, and we never picked it up. Mm -hmm. um, but this time, again, we got it for fairly cheap at the yard sale. But okay, we'll give it Cheaper a shot. Than Ollie's. Um, the videos I've watched of it, it may be one we play a couple times and it ends up in the other room. We'll see. Um, I, I could see it definitely having a table presence because it is a 3D board. Mm -hmm. So, because you've got a, basically a, a highway bridge that yeah. the whole game takes place on. So, I don't know. We haven't played it yet, but you, you, I know you spend time. The whole game is getting across the bridge and placing obstacles in front of other people. The one thing. Oh my I gosh, agree it hasn't on, even been punched yet. No, we knew that. Really? I didn't the know one that. thing that I agree on. Yeah, we watched Tom a Vassal video with Tom and I this. This is the money. Which I the way he explained it, I get why they did it. But couldn't it have been cardboard chips or yeah, something? This is part of this is the bridge part of the bridge before it's put together. And you have cars and, and apparently the cars, the cars some the little of, 3D cars. Yeah, or, some of the money will come out and it'll drop behind the car. And, you, and if you drive over it, you get a picture yeah. of it. So I get it, but man, I'm thinking they could have just done cardboard chips or something, would have yeah. been a lot easier to use. And I I felt like we have another game that does cardboard little money like this. And I'm trying to remember what it was. It may have been Firefly is what I'm thinking of with the fuel tokens and stuff. Yes, they had a little bit of fuel tokens. But maybe, I mean, that might be a better option. I don't know. We're going to come up with something different than that. But the minute you tear those off, you're going to lose them. But the only thing about this game we didn't realize when we first got it. <laughs> it's a three-player game. It's a three-plus player game. And it's so usually just us So we can't even two. play it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to, so. yeah. There is a two-player variant, I think I found. Oh, but we'll see. Right. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, that's that one. Um, all right, next on the list is Colonies. This just looked interesting. It did. This, and I'm kind of afraid to stand up on it because it's, it's just a it's series tight of enough. cards. Is it tight enough? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but this is Colony. I, unfortunately, I don't know really anything about it. So. Right. It just looked really interesting. It's another card game. Um, Basically, I wish I could tell you more, but we haven't got. Yeah, this we haven't yet. gotten it to the table yet. It looks pretty cool. I mean, you look inside the box, and it's kind of like Dominion Ooh. on how the cards are set up inside. Okay, all this labeled. Game that many dice. Everything's labeled as to what they are, kind of like Dominion and everything. So it'll be it'll be pretty cool to play. Whole bag of dice Keep this to the table. So it can't be bad. Maybe we'll do a video or a review on it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm anxious to play this one. If you're wondering what I'm doing. Okay. The next one that we picked up during the art sale, which again, we've not had a chance to play yet, is Mega City Oceana. Okay, this one's all right. This is a dexterity game. Yeah, this is a dex game. You're building, the goal of it is to build, and it comes with a ton of little plate pieces. You're building your city up tall enough and I think, yeah, there's you the, have the ring. goal cards that you've yeah. got to build certain buildings on the goal card in front of you. Yeah. Using the pieces it shows or the pieces you have. Yeah. And it comes, I love, this is one of the things that just attracted me to it, is it comes with all these building pieces. Yeah. So you're building it on the tiles. Shapes. You're building yeah. it on these tiles and they've got to be, use a certain piece or... I don't remember too much, but uh, no, I, don't, I remember watching the video. On the I do know once you build it in front of you, now the whole dexterity part is you have to move it with that building to join the to city. join the city without knocking it over. If you knock it over, you got to take it back. You got to redo it. Yep. So it looks really interesting. I am anxious to play this one, this but I definitely want to play it on a sturdy table, yeah. which this one's pretty sturdy. I think These are the cool parts it. of it because 
they have to be a certain height yes. and this is a measuring is stick measure. to tell you how high it is. Yep. So. Looks interesting. I probably just put it on backwards, but that's all right. We'll fix it later. Yeah, take it that way. Save it back. Mm -hmm. This one is another one. And our bought. last one that we bought this was during the yard sale. Yes, this was unopened. This was unopened and new. This is Steam Park. We actually talked about this on one of the videos we did recently, the top 100, I think. Yes. Um, we, I, I, this is what I've been interested in a long time. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, we just never picked it up. When we were out in Virginia last month, two months ago, in September, we got a chance to play it with um, a high school friend of mine. She had the game and she taught it to us and I really enjoyed it. So when we saw it there, it was the first thing we grabbed as soon as the sale opened and we were able mm -hmm. to grab stuff off tables. So this is just an interesting one. You are building your park using little 3D roller coasters. And, rides and, and so you can put the rides in. There are a little um, like bathrooms. Yeah, and, there's other little pieces that you put in. Those are all the roller coasters. There's yeah. other pieces that have just little stands on them. That give you that, certain powers. Yep. And each of these have special abilities that you get throughout the game. Um, so it's just, it was very, oh, and you, and you it all roll. depends on the dice you roll yeah. as to what you get to do. Yeah. You roll dice and that tells you whether you can build, whether you're cleaning up waste, whether you're, and you got to clean waste. Yeah. you got to clean waste, whether you can add visitors, they all have different meanings. So everybody rolls their six dice and yeah, I think it's six dice. So, but very interesting. And all the visitors, nobody has a specific color. The visitors match the color of your, your roller coasters. So I just thought the 3D roller coasters were absolutely adorable. So I'm I'm anxious to play our own version now. Mm -hmm. So we have not gotten to play it since we bought it. Oops, nope, put the bag back in. All right, that is Steam Park. Yep. These okay, down there, so I can get just, to this other grouping. This. You didn't like the little wall we had going there? <laughs> I'm just gonna do that right there. <clears> okay, go. this next grouping is the spoils from the yard sale that what, what we bought with the money we made, yes, from the yard sale. Yes, yeah, let me just move all these over here. Out the we way. readjust everything so we can pull some of this stuff out. <laughs> All right, the first one is, uh, if you've seen our other one, we like Marvel Champions. This is the newest one, War Machine. And as you can see, it's still in its packaging. We haven't had it played yet. Well, I've tried it. There's still a few of them that I still haven't yet. Yeah, we've got a few in packaging still. But we've ordered, mm -hmm. I ordered off of Etsy a storage system for this, mm -hmm. a box. And I'm just waiting for it to come in. And as soon as it does, we'll get everything into that and finally be able to break Take down what we have. Yeah. Easier. Yeah, because right, right now, now there's they're just, in like three di three different boxes currently. They're currently in three different boxes, and there's just so much of it. And you know, I I the lack of organization is driving me crazy. So I'm just I don't even want to open the boxes at this point. It's just too it much. So I'm waiting for that storage system to come in. War machine. Yeah. So to go along with that, though, we got the latest in our area, the latest scenario yep. expansion, expansion pack, which yeah. is the Mad Titan Showdown. Yeah. This one comes with Spectrum and Adam Warlock as the heroes, and you're going to be fighting Thanos, Ebony Man, Corvus Glaive, and Proxima Midnight. Yeah. So. Yeah. But we haven't even finished the Galaxy's Plus One. Nope. But again, waiting for the storage mm -hmm. system to come in before we even open this guy up. All right. Next thing we bought is the limited edition. Matchwork Halloween Second Edition, and this tag fell off of it because we haven't played it yet yeah. either. As you yeah. see, it's still in shrink. Yep. So we have the other, the original Patchwork. Mm -hmm. We really didn't need it, but Katie said I she, like she it. wanted it. The, the only thing I said, okay, yeah, that's it. Because if you've ever played Patchwork, you got the little buttons. Well, in this one, the buttons are now eyeballs. eyeballs. That makes it cool. Yep. Nope, really enjoy this one. I enjoy Next I'm one is that. one that just came off the Kickstarter. They had it at the store. That is Dinosaur World. Yes, it's out of shrink, but no, we have not played it yet. Nope. We've only punched it. Yep. And when we punched it, it was like, oh, 
This one should be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying it. It has a lot of the components from Dinosaur Island because mm -hmm. it's the same family, same yeah. designer, I believe. We even That's I'm hoping dinosaurs. it's an easy one to pick up because it runs in that same family and, and a lot of the components that. look similar. On the back of the box, it says the 90s are over. Because everybody was saying good things. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah. You pick that one up. I love the dice in these games. So the, the clear amber colored dice are beautiful. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that one too. And the last one we, we just picked up on like two days ago from the time of this recording. This one was just delivered from Kickstarter. Yes. This is what we spent the last of our stuff in because we no longer have a credit left. Our, our store. game store posted it on their Facebook page that this was in stock. Well, they only had one. And when we got there, when we got there, they only had one. So yeah. we had to pick it up. And that is role player adventure. It's still in shrink. It has yes. been all I could do not to open this guy up yet. But mm -hmm. I, I decided to wait. We have all the other role player stuff. Now we have this one. Yep. That'd be cool because now we can build the character and actually go through an yeah. adventure with that character yep. that we built. Yep, make a day of it. It'll be fun. So so that's all the games we have that are going into the to the collection for November. Yep. December. Hmm, there might still be some coming in December. Kickstarter, well, it is maybe. Christmas. Yep. But by God, in January, we're not doing one. The checkbook is taking a break. <laughs> all right. That's what she said about November. Yeah, I did say that about November. Darn the solve tears now with all these coming in the games the the game collection things have to go well we we've opened up two full shelves already yes I know. so we've got room for most of them and and like i said confon's already got a home and so does gorgon's lock and so is this and not yet it doesn't well we haven't we actually put it on a shelf yet we have to move stuff around to get in there <laughs> so anyway so thank you for joining us um hopefully we'll do the next one right after christmas and we'll share our Christmas acquisitions with you. In the meantime, check out our other videos and uh, we'll catch you next month.